Uno Digital Bank is giving us a number of reasons kung bakit dapat mag-save-save na rin tayo, guys. It says doon sa Google Play Store kung saan mo siya ma-download, ha? You can get easy access to loans. Mataas din yung kanyang per ano na interest rate, especially if mag-time deposit ka. So, I checked out Uno Digital Bank and I really think this is one nice digital banking app na pwede nating subukan. And if you want to learn more, then please keep watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Red and this video is not sponsored. My goal here is to share kung ano yung bago sa mga apps na pwede natin kumangan, where mag-save tayo, get more benefits from these savings. So today naman, yung pag-uusapan natin ay itong Uno Digital Bank na nada-download sa Google Play Store. And the thing that caught my attention is yung easy access to loans, guys. So this Uno Digital Bank, not only that magbibigay siya ng access sa mga loans, but with Uno Bank, maaari ka mag-earn more if you save more. Magpunta mo ng Google Play Store, guys. Doon nyo siya madadownload. Mayroon ka daw free na life insurance up to 50,000 pesos, no maintaining balance, yung mga benefits like those. And you can do transactions anywhere as long as there's Instapay and, and peso net. So send and receive money naman to. So convenience guys, convenience is really important here. So pag download mo sa kanya, mayroon siyang lalabas sa mga overview, tulad dito. But if, when you're ready, then you can click join Uno. Tatanong kanya, what do you like to open? And I just click now dun sa may piggy bank. So he Hingi niyo yung phone number mo and bibigay mo to. Tatanong siya kung may promotional code ka. In my case, wala akong promotional code. So, I just gave my phone number and click confirm. Magpapadala po siya ng OTP, 6 digits. And once napadala niya, you have 10 minutes to enter the OTP. Otherwise, mag-expire to. Once you're done with that, then you will get to the part na you're gonna go over the terms and conditions. So, hindi ka makakapag-click ng agree and continue kung hindi ka mag-scroll down. So, dapat pinabasa yung mga ganito guys ah. So, before mo man siya scroll down, you will see that yun sa item 137, that Uno Bank is regulated by the Banko Central ng, Filip ng, Fil <laughs> ng Filipinas. The email of BSP is right there and the phone number is also right there. With this, confident tayo na legit si Uno Bank. At kung sakaling may problema, pwede tayong lumapit kay BSP. So, if you agree, just click that button below. And the next is yung data privacy in Manila. So, just... Check the box sa baba to tell Uno Bank that you agree. Hihingi na kaagad yung ID mo. Magsascan ka ng ID, magsiselfie ka, and then magbibigay ka ng mga details mo. So just click get started when you're ready. And then meron ka pagpipilian mga IDs. Nasa inyo na kung yung pipiliin mo kasi yung mga tinatanggap niya ay driver's license, passport, UMID, PRC, SSS, tsaka fill sys ID. Piliin lang yung ID na gusto gamitin and then click continue. Kukunin niya yung picture ng ID mo. That is why hinihingi po siya ng access sa camera mo and you can say na while using the app. Now, you just have to be careful sa this part because automatic niyang gagamitin yung flash ng cellphone mo and that can result mga glare sa pagkuha ng IDs. Pero kung hindi niya tatanggapin, pwede mo mag-retry and retry. At pag tinanggap niya, magkakaroon po ng check mark and you can proceed to the next part which is magsascan na siya ng face mo. So, meron pong mga tips dyan. Sundin mo lang yan and then you'll be fine. Automatic po niyang kukunin yung picture mo. Sasabi niya blink and then ikakapture niya yung image mo and then you can proceed to the next which is yung mga personal information naman. Yung maganda dito kasi kung tamad ka mag-enter ng per personal information mo, yung nasa ID mo ay kaagad niyang nakakapture. All you need to do is to make sure that it is accurate and kung meron mang blank. For example, kung place of birth, yung mga wala dun sa ID mo na hindi niya na-capture, ilalagay mo lang. And then, once done with that, you can click continue. And then, yun na, sa next page is, if you verify mo yung email address mo. Paglagay mo ng email address mo, dapat guys, hindi kinakalimutan yung email address. Paglagay mo ng email address, ikiklik mo yung verify. Kasi, ah, magpapadala po siya ng OTP dun sa email address nyo. So, make sure you have access to that. Six digits, put the OTP, continue. Ilalagay mo yung ang zip code, guys. At paglagay mo ng zip code, mag auto fill siya. Detailed address mo, bali. Yung street name, yung block number, yung mga ganon. Subdivision. So, idagdag mo na lang yan. And then, click continue when you're done with that page. And then, next is work information na. So, there are different options. Then, hihingi po siya ng source of funds. Meron pong pagpipilian ng mga answers. Select the best answer that applies to you. And then, give your monthly income. Just click continue and meron po siyang declarations. 
And yung fat ka, so tatlong questions na naman, uh, I am a US citizen, I am not a US citizen, and the third one, so answer it, whatever applies to you, and then click continue. So you will be given the chance to go over those information again. Make sure that everything is accurate, everything is correct, wrong spelling wrong. Just click the drop down to review your answers. At pagkatapos nung then you can click continue. After that, just click continue. That basically you're agreeing to their terms, your data privacy, and the hat that binigay mong information sa kanila is correct. So click continue and welcome to Uno. Yan na yon. Magpapadala siya ng email, mga welcome email. Pero hindi pa yan nagtatapos kasi magsiset ka pa ng password mo. Sa pagset ng password, meron po siyang instructions. Just follow the instructions na andun. Siyempre, kailangan mong sundin. Otherwise, hindi niya tatanggapin yung password mo. Once okay na yung password mo, yun, you, then you can click confirm. And next, magsiset ka ng passcode. Which again, may instructions po. Pakifollow lang ng instructions para tuloy-tuloy yung paggawa ng account. And just click confirm when you're done with that. And then, meron po siyang mga konting paalala. And then, click continue pag naiintindihan mo yan. So, that's it guys. Napakadali. Ang daling gumawa ng Uno account. Guys, mas, ma mas madali pa kaysa sa Discord Tech. Mas madali pa guys kaysa sa RCBC. But, that doesn't mean na just because it's easy, it's not secure or it's not safe. So remember, it's regulated by Banko Central ng Pilipinas. And if it is your first time to log in, hihingin po niya yung permission or magli-link siya ng account mo sa device na to. And to do that, sundin nyo lang instruction sa pag-selfie and then yun na link na. So, never share your password. So, guys, pag-click nyo sa... Pagpasok nyo sa app, tatlong tabs yung manonotice mo. Savings, time deposits, and loans. I'm very, very interested with their time deposit because it's they have high um, returns or high interest rates. And then, of course interested din ako sa loans, which is on the third tab. Pero pag-click mo ng loan, guys, hindi pa siya directly available. Siyempre, pag nag-create ka ng account kay Uno Bank, huwag mo kaagad expect na kaagad ka makakautang. Ano ka ba? Isipin mo na muna na savings account siya and it's an opportunity for you to earn interest. And then later on, perks and benefits na lang yan yung loan. But at least you're one step closer para makapag-loan sa banko kung saan mas maganda yung terms, of course. So, pag-click mo ng loan tab, kung hindi pa siya available sa'yo, it's just gonna give you this information about loans and exciting loan products are coming your way daw. So, we're gonna, together, we're going to discover that kung ano man yan. But for now, create na lang muna tayo ng Uno account. Enjoy saving! And then, balikan natin to in the future. So, I really hope that you appreciate this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you appreciate this video, leave it a thumbs up. And then, bye-bye. I'll see you on my next one. Bye!